Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christina Corbin and in today's video we are going to be talking about Instagram engagement hacks and how to get real followers and likes fast. I know, just like you probably know because you're clicking on this video, that Instagram has been changing their algorithm time and time again and making it more difficult to grow. I'm going to basically outline for you guys the most legal and best way to grow and to increase your engagement on Instagram. So like I said, I'm going to discuss with you guys Instagram engagement hacks to grow your Instagram and also how to get real followers and likes fast. And the only way you guys can actually really do this is by being really engaging on your Instagram and actually putting in the time to grow it because you can't expect a quick fix solution to where you do nothing and you just become an ultimate sensation. And if that is your goal, then I don't know, having a successful Instagram is probably not for you <laughs> unless you're a celebrity and you just ultimately get the following automatically. If you are just a regular person that's trying to grow their business account or personal account, there are some things that you have to do in kind of a schedule of nuances you should follow in order to get that engagement that you are seeking. And the first thing is, I know it's so obvious, but it is the most important thing. It is being consistent. Like I said, you have to put in the time and you have to do it daily. Like even a couple times a week isn't gonna be necessarily enough to grow. You wanna show Instagram that you are serious and when they see that, they will actually push your Instagram to be seen more. If you do post every day, you're more likely to be seen, you're more likely to hit the explore page and Instagram will recognize you as somebody who is serious about their Instagram. They will be consistent with pushing you, but if you fall off the map for a couple weeks or a month, you're gonna go right back to the bottom and have to rebuild that momentum that you're getting. It's just like a moving, wheel you know at first it takes like a bit of a push to get it going but once it's going it becomes easier and better and if it stops moving what happens again you need to give it that push again so another thing that's super obvious is obviously have really good content you want quality photos um, it doesn't have to be taken on a professional camera but you can take great photos on an iPhone but just make sure you're picking photos where you look good or your products look good and it's just all kind of cohesive and it looks clear and good you don't want to post blurry pictures pictures that are just kind of I don't know structured oddly I mean you know what looks good and what doesn't think about what you follow and what you like and just make really good quality content another thing like I said unless you're a celebrity or you know somebody who is already recognizable and already gets a following just by posting kind of photos of whatever or themselves however you kind of want to have a concentration or a topic and it doesn't have to be too concrete you can still be yourself and you can still be a lifestyle blogger for instance but just make sure you're adding some value and you have some sort of theme to your page. People are just more likely to follow you if they know what your page is about and they know what the concentration is and they know what the theme is because maybe they are looking for health tips. They will follow you if you are giving them quality health tips on a daily basis. Therefore, they will tune in daily and be there for you as well. And then another tip is post videos too. You don't want to only post pictures. Videos actually get pushed really well on Instagram and they also let your audience see who you really are. Maybe if you're talking in some, they get a flavor of your personality. They get to see that you're real or whatever you're selling or um, advertising is real. And it's just honestly, videos capture people's attention a lot more than photos do and they also tell a lot more of a story. So definitely integrate videos into your feed as well as photos. Be active on IG stories, be active on IGTV, make some highlights on your page. Just make sure your whole profile is being active. This way people can really get to know you better. They want more details, so will go to your IGTV. And then your stories will also really help your traction. Instagram is actually pushing those that are using all the features on the Instagram, you guys can even go live if you're not shy or if you have something to show. Um, live is a great way to attract attention and help your engagement. And then stories as well. You'll see that if you post stories every day, your story engagement and the amount of people watching them will grow as well because you'll always be pushed to the front and it's also a good way to get people onto your page, onto your feed. You can also do swipe up links. Just there's so many features you can do. So make sure you're using all the avenues of Instagram. 
Now, I know you guys are thinking, this is just so much. How am I ever gonna have the time to do all of this? And yes, I know it can be a lot and putting in the time for quality production does take up a lot of time, but there's a way that you can actually streamline your Instagram to make it so much easier for you and help yourself grow with this simple hack. This little baby right here will make your life so much easier. I'm gonna walk you guys through it and show you how to basically run and manage your Instagram and make it go super easy, super quick. All you have to do, you guys can just put everything in there and then it'll just basically run itself and you will not get behind on your consistency because that is what's gonna help your Instagram grow. So that fee app is just gonna be your best friend. <laughs> so let's check it out right now. I'm gonna show you guys the screen recording so I can walk you guys through all the amazing features. This is gonna help your Instagram grow so much. Your engagement is gonna grow. And this is honestly the only natural way, the only legal natural way to grow your Instagram. There's so many advertised things out there that are gonna, you know, advertise growth, but it could be bots, it could be fake, you could get your Instagram banned, and you don't want that. You want natural growth, and you want people that are actually real and engaging, and actually want to be on your page. So yeah, oh, and also, I'm gonna give you guys some bonus tips at the end of this video, so make sure you guys watch out for those. They're gonna be later in the end. But right now, let's jump into the app, and I'm gonna show you what's up. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and open the Appy app. And here you go. This is what your home screen is going to look like. There is a schedule button. This is where your posts will go that you scheduled. Here you'll see the ones that you have already posted. And the cool thing about this is that you can actually have multiple um, Instagram usernames. So far I only have two in here, but I have multiple accounts that I'm going to keep adding. And then you can also see your analytics right here. It shows you your follower analytics, your post analytics, and I mean, some of this you can see on the Instagram app, but it's really handy to have it right here in your scheduler app as well. And you can also look at it in terms of past 24 hours, past 48 hours, seven days and 14 days. So you can get a more streamlined analytic of your progress. So I'm gonna show you guys how to schedule your first post with this app. And after that, you can basically just schedule unlimited amount of posts and you can schedule it basically for the week or for the month. Yeah, all you do is press schedule and see so you have all these other really cool features here. You can basically, you just pick, I mean, I'll go over those features in a second though. You just pick a photo from your photo library. I already made a little folder of pictures that I wanted to post. You can also, you know, edit the sizing just like you can on Instagram. You can also make a carousel if you are in the mood. And then you click next. And then here you can edit it. You can either change some filters if you want to, or you can go in here and you have some really cool, really, really cool things. You can play with the adjustments. Well, that's regular. I've already edited my photos, so I don't need any of that. But again, you have blur and focus. You can draw on it, which is, I think is a really cool feature. Hey, that's me if you want to. So you can get more crafty with your photos all in one app. You can add text, whether you're trying to create a meme. You can also do splash, which is basically, it makes it all black and white. And then you can you pick the size of your brush and you can show the parts where you want the color to come through. So for instance, if I wanted to show myself, I'm not doing this in great detail right now. I'm just showing you the effect. I know some people like that effect. And then everything else will be black and white, but you. We'd probably have to zoom in and color in better than I did there, <laughs> but that's just an example of how that works. And you can also add stickers, which is really cool. So, and then you just click next. And right here, another cool feature here that we have is you can actually schedule to post photos to multiple Instagram pages. It gives you all the things you get on Instagram. You write your caption. You have caption history, you have your saved caption, if you had already scheduled something or if you had put it in your defaults. So it'll show your previous captions. And then the cool thing, you can actually have hashtag suggestions here. So if you are putting hashtags, which I do recommend you do, they will help with your exposure. There we go. You, I can just click on it and see they all popped in right there. So I can just click save and then you can add your location Los Angeles and then another cool feature is that 
you can write your first comment. So I know some people like to put their hashtags in the second, in the first comment after the caption, therefore it's not like clogging up space in your caption, which is something I do quite a bit of the time as well. So you can actually put your hashtags right here, which is cool. You can save that and then you already have your first comment ready and loaded. And then if you do have a business page where you have products on your page that you are selling, you can click the add products. This is the most detailed type of scheduler app that I have seen that actually gives you all of these options. So I think it is awesome. And you click next and then you can pick your time zone. I have Los Angeles, which is where I am. And then here, it'll actually recommend you the best time to post. See, to help you reach more followers and engagement, AppFi analyzes 10 million posts, engagement of your followers, and accounts similar to yours. Applied machine learning to find the best time for you. So for me, for tomorrow, it says that 7.12 would be the best time to post. So I'm just going to change it to that. And then maybe you're doing a shout out and you want to have a delete time. It has an option for that as well. I won't be deleting it. So... I won't be doing that. And then if you are doing an advertised post, it even has a feature for that where it will send your advertiser notifications and you basically put in all your information. It takes care of it for you. I click next and see my scheduled post pops up here. And then you can just keep scheduling, scheduling, and then you'll have a post ready for every day. How easy is that? That's just awesome. You don't have to do anything but just engage with your following and it will take care of the rest for you. You also have a drag and drop preview, which I think is awesome. I like to look at a grid preview before I post on my Instagram just to see how it will look. And basically, since this one is already scheduled, it's already in there, but basically you can just add photos. See, I put them all in. And now you can drag and drop them to rearrange them to the best way. So you can just kind of see beforehand and there, therefore it'll help you schedule your posts in the best looking manner as well, which is awesome because like I said, you want to have a quality, a quality feed which people are attracted to and that they like. And this is how you can do that. That is to bulk schedule them and basically you just select all of the ones you want and then you'll just put in the scheduling for all these pictures. Therefore, you don't have to keep doing them one by one. You can also search and repost. So maybe you have a meme type of Instagram you can search for anything on here. And all you do, if you wanna repost something on your page, just makes it super simple. You pick this and then you just click repost and you can also select repost to post or repost to story. It makes it really easy to run a meme account as well. So if that's what you guys are doing, this app is bomb for that. And then the other cool, awesome, most amazing things on here that I haven't seen on some scheduling apps is that you can post to your story and your IGTV, which is amazing because you can schedule all of that as well. So you can have all your engagement on your platform already scheduled and done, and then you don't have to worry about anything. You just sit back and you know drink your coffee, watch a movie, go to the park, walk your dog. I don't know, just have a good time. You can get detailed with your stories. You can tag people, add hashtags if you want, and you can also add a story URL. So you can add a swipe up link, which is awesome. You can do it all from the scheduling app. So all your advertisements or things you're trying to promote, you can do it all up here. You can also schedule your IGTV. Here we go, here's a video that popped up. For instance, I wanted to post this to my IGTV. This was a funny video of Spencer and I in the car <laughs> after he had a root canal and I was making fun of him. I can write a description, a title, put the time zone. You can add the first comment on that. Basically all the scheduling things we saw for the post you can do for your IGTV as well. And then you can also bulk schedule. Like I said, you can bulk for post, bulk for story, and bulk for IGTV. And just get them done a lot faster. I have the pro account which lets me post unlimited amount of scheduled posts. There is a free option and I think you can post up to 10. I do recommend upgrading and getting one that is paid for. Again, like I said, Instagram is an investment and this will really help your engagement. This is like the ultimate hack, guys. There's also a desktop version, so if you keep everything on your computer, you can easily run and manage it from your computer as well, which is also another amazing feature. And guys, I will be putting a referral code down in the description below so that you guys can get 10% off of your subscription to Appy if you decide to get it. So when you guys are gonna get the app, just make sure you use that referral code so you do get that 10% off. So like I promised, here are your bonus tips for your Instagram engagement. The first one would be to tag. Make sure you are tagging 
people in your photos, make sure you're tagging brands. If maybe there are pages that you can see yourself being featured on, tag those in your photos and videos so that they can see it and they might repost you. If they repost you, then it'll attract more people to your page. And if they, even if they don't repost you, people often look at the tagged photos on these popular pages and they might run across your page and be like, wow, I really love this and follow you for that. And then the other one, this one is paid, but it can be very beneficial, especially if you are marketing something, and that is to actually use the ads on Instagram. You don't have to spend a lot. You can spend a couple dollars, maybe five dollars, and just to boost your post. Instagram actually favors people that uses that use ads. Obviously, they want to your money. If you have a couple dollars to spare, that can really help your growth as well. If you are selling something, it'll just help market you in general, which is amazing, and you could sell more products and get more conversions that way. That's it, guys. That's my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys will follow some of these tips, and I hope that it really does help you grow your Instagram. I know it is very difficult these days, and Instagram keeps making it more and more difficult, but it doesn't have to be. All you have to do is be consistent and make good quality content and be on top of it. Basically, that's all you got to do and it will grow. It just takes time. It's not an overnight thing. So just remember that and you will be very successful. And that's it guys. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any more videos. And I will see you guys next time in my next video.